Welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. Let us observe this totally unedited surgery. This is a cataract with grade 2 nuclear sclerosis. Ocular surface is thoroughly prepared. We have instilled few drops of providant iodine and irrigated the ocular surface with PSS. Now this is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome. The main incision is made. Now the anterior chamber is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. And then a side port is made on the left side of the main incision. This side port is about 90 degree away from the main wound. Now capsular excess is being done with the help of a uterata forceps. See how quickly we can do uh, uh, rexis with the help of uterata forceps. It is round and of optimum size. Now hydrodissection is done with PSS and a 27 gauze cannula. The nucleus is mobilized. Visco again, 2% SPMC is again injected and the anterior chamber is filled off. Now comes the instrument Mohanta's pre-chopper. This straight pre-chopper has been designed by me. And now the left hand instrument is nuclear sustainer. This is real time video and see how quickly we have divided the nucleus into three pieces. Now here goes the other hemineucleus is also divided and we get four pieces. If we do this in any other technique, it is going to take longer time. Yes, please don't try this pre chopper in harder cataracts. Try this first in this kind of cataracts, grade 2, grade 2 plus, maximum up to grade 3. Don't go beyond grade 3, uh, you may be frustrated. And now go with the hand piece and see how quickly we can grab each nuclear piece and emulsify. So this is the second nuclear fragment. We don't have to go to periphery, we don't have to chase the nuclear pieces, we just have to hold the apex of each nuclear fragment and just emulsify remaining at the central safe zone of the anterior chamber. And now I am doing this nowadays, I got inspired by my friend Dr. Neto to remove the cortex by the uh, hand piece itself, initially I got two or three PC ruptures, then I knew how to do it, but this is up to you whether you will try this or not, you have to take your own risk. And now I see that there are some lens fibers sticking to the PC and I am trying to polish the PC just by the irrigating probe without using the aspirating cannula. And now hydro implantation of a single piece monofocal intraocular lens is done and see just by a tap of the left hand instrument the trailing haptic goes in the capsular bag. Now we can see some lens fibers protruding from 5 o'clock. So I ask for uh, I ask for the aspiration cannula irrigation and aspiration, I remove the fibers by aspiration, keeping the antechamber formed by the irrigating cannula. The theme of this video is to be safe and at the same time swift. If we save time, we become safe for the corneal endothelium. The side port is closed by corneal stromal hydration. See, if the side port is little large, we just need to do little bit of hydration. If it is a very small wound, we have to hydrate a lot. Almost one third of cornea needs to be hydrated if the wound is, side port is small and if we stress it and do fish mouthing. Yes, the antechamber has been formed. Now, few drops of moxie is applied over the ocular surface. Integrity of the wounds are checked and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Be safe and be swift.